Hello, it's March 18th and I just thought I'd do an unboxing for you, um, not an unboxing, but a, um, a haul video. So I just received some stuff from Simon Says Stamp and I'm super excited. It's a big box, as you can see how big it is. So I will try to get the stuff out of there and show you. Okay, so I got this stamp by Clearly Besotted. Uh, it's just a bunch of words, anti, that's me, anti. And yeah, that looks good. I got this mini ink blending tool. A lot of this stuff crafters are already gonna have, but I'm a traditional artist, so a lot of this stuff is new to me. A lot of the stamping stuff. I got this one by Avery L, which is just um, a nice font where I can make people's names. The renowned craft mat, which I totally need because I work on a piece of paper right now. So that is awesome. Yeah, it is by Ranger. So for those who don't know, it's it's a heat mat. It's like a sill pat for baking. Uh, it's heat resistant and you can and nothing will stick to it like glues and all that sticky stuff and you can put paint on it and use it as a palette even though I have tons of palettes and uh, stuff it's kind of convenient okay, what else do we have in here okay I got some of this card stock which is the pastels so it's these colors very pretty colors and it's got a texture on it um, kind of like a canvas texture and then it's smooth on the other side so I figure it's you get two for one smooth or texture okay, what else here I've got this stamp by Penny Black um, Love you to the moon and back, love. I figure I can use a lot of those. I try to get them as versatile as possible because I want, uh, I do most of my art and then I just do, you know, a little sentiment and I want it to sort of cross over because my cards are about art. They're not really about stamping. So I love you and love and love you more. That's perfect. I love you so very much. You make my heart smile perfect. That's great. Then this one by Betsy's Couture Kaiser Craft. Um, I think this was on sale. It's um, just sort of vintage looking. I really like the fonts and uh, my favorite art style is Art Nouveau and it looks very uh, like that. So that's pretty cute. Uh, then I got this little girl. Oh, wow, she's way smaller than I thought. Wow, that is tiny. I guess I'm so used to doing my art in big... Uh, hmm. I think what I can do with this is probably stamp it once and then take a picture of it, digitally send it to my printer and print it larger, take out my light table, and then make it any size I want and just trace it in black ink. I think I might do that. Then I can do a nice big art picture. And that would make a good video too, I think, because there are many people out, crafters out there doing art with this, with the stamp, and it's tiny. Um, but maybe I could show the idea of doing it larger and how to do that. And then doing it watercolor or something like a different look. Anyway, we will see. If you happen to see this video, let me know if you'd like to see that. I know my channel is just getting started, so I'm not sure who sees these or not. 
Uh, foam, 3D foam adhesive double-sided stickers. I figure these are perfect because you can take out, you know, if you have an odd shape, you could take out, they're like pixels. You know, you could take out any shape you want out of this. Um, so that's good. They're nice and cheap too. All right, what else do we have in the box? Ooh, I was lucky to get this. These are all, almost all uh, sold out, this Enchanted series. Um, I can see why, because they're adorbs. <laughs> um, mm, I can't open this for you. But I think I will, because you can see this on the website, so what's the point of watching a haul video? And, unless you get inside information, so I will open this to, to show you the, the papers, so you can get a look inside. And these are all sold out, I'm not sure if they're going to, they're not sold out, not this one, but most of the, uh, this series was gone, so I was lucky to get this little one. So here it is. This is perfect for my nieces for cards and stuff. Look at that, how cute little princesses. Not that I endorse the princess thing. I wanna to try to get away from that whole Disney thing. There's some bad stuff going on in Disney, guys, if you don't know that. I should probably let you in on that. Um, but, you know, these colors are adorable. Look at that. Oh. Love this one too. Oh, love that one. Vintage postcard sort of look. Ooh, love this one too. Love that. Work out a newspaper. And there's more purple damask, which I have all over my living room wall. I have like 14 foot ceilings with purple damask on the wall. Just saying. Main Street Press, that's so cute. Mirror, mirror, oh, look at this. Somebody gets married, oh boy. Oh, that's adorable, okay. Love that. All right, what else do we have in here? All right, here we go with my distressings, okay? So I have, I have a lot of the distress inks and I'm just looking for the, my container of them, I think I put it away. I have about 12 of them in this stain. So I decided, I like the muted look of them. So I decided to go for all this, all of these little ones um, to, and I figured they double for stamping and I could use them for painting as well. Cause I prim primarily paint, I'm less of a stamper, more of a painter. So, um, I figured I'd get these and then I could put them on my craft sheet, use it as paint. But I like the, the uh, like my my really good watercolors, like my schminky, these are like very expensive, but they're very um, bright. They're super, super bright. And what I like about the Distress is that they're muted. Um, and I almost always go for a muted vintage look. That's just what I like. So, I got all of these. I know, it's a big haul. Uh, in total, all of this was about $263, and that's converted from Canadian to American. So, I think it was more, because the, the dollar is not the exchange rate is not good right now. Used to be on par for a long time and I bought a lot of stuff in the States. I don't know what's going on, but the exchange rate is horrendous. So I've got 77 now or something. So it's not good for Canadians anyway. I think it's good for America, but I know I got a lot of distressing. Woo! -hoo! Everybody out there is going, oh yeah, love it. So I got, uh, oh, I can't tell, oh yes I can. So I got number four, 
So I went through and I got pretty much all of them and the ones that I don't have, I have about 12 of them in the stain and I didn't get those. So I, so I went and figured out which ones here. I got the, um, you know, the four set and then the ones that I had already, I went and got the individual ones where it was a set, but I had, let's say I had the set, but I had one, I went and got those in the uh, little extra. So I got number four, which is Spun Sugar Scattered Straw Evergreen Bow and Shaded Lilac. Number nine, I don't need to go through all that because you guys know, or whatever, because they're all here, so. <laughs> And then the ones I don't have here, I have in the stains, in the dabber type. So I got, look at this, Victorian Velvet. I'm so excited to swatch these in my color cookbook for you. And then of course, I got the blending ink tool. What's this? Oh yeah, I got a Versa marker. Oh, very excited. So, because I know stampers like to do embossing with the, the pad but I personally like to draw things and do my own art. So I want to emboss, uh, want to make what I want to make or emboss something that I've drawn on my own. I want to be able to draw over it and then emboss on top of it. So this is super cool to get. Oh, love it. Okay, and then, uh oh, look at this. More distress inks. <laughs> oh yeah, haul. Look what I got. Tins. Uh oh. That's gonna bother me. Dented tin. That's not cool. Okay, who are you like me? Who of you out there are like me and you're like, Okay, you've got your tins, you're gonna have everything, then you do not want a big old dent like that. Oh, that's annoying. But they are light tin, so. Um, okay, well, if Stampin' Up happens to watch this video, if someday I get super huge on YouTube and Stampin' Up is watching my video, could you replace my tin for free for me, please? Please and thank you. Okay, thanks very much. <laughs> so there's my three tins to store all these in. That's, love it. Well, this is just a haul. I won't do it in front of you. Oh, oh, there's two little, two little ink stuck at the back of my box. <laughs> Still more inks coming. I love it. You know an artist loves their inks and their pigments. Come on, you're with me, aren't you? Pumice stone, I'm very excited to try this color. Who gets excited about gray other than artists and crafters, right, ladies and gents? Yeah, we get excited about grays and grayages. You know what I'm talking about. Okay, I have one thing left. And this is this, why they wrapped it on its own, I don't know. But you know what? You know what I love when you forget what you bought and then you get a package in the mail and it's almost like a present to you because you don't remember what's in it? You know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying. We all do it. Oh, I know what this is. I just read right there. It is the March 2015 card kit. So you can watch the unboxing here. Should I save this for another video? Yes, I will. Okay, watch my next video. It's gonna be the March 2015 card kit. And then I will probably make a card with it and film that as well. So I'm gonna save this for the next video. So that's my haul, everything I got. Some stamps and inks and ink containers, Versamark, love it. Hope you enjoyed my unboxing. And I will talk to you later, crafty friends. Bye.